All right, welcome back guys. Here's a video on this gear cube, which at first sight looks pretty amazing. It's a puzzle from our little good friend Oscar, which you can't really see right here, Oscar. He makes really, really good puzzles, and this one is one of my favorite. So let me talk about the gear cube for the couple minutes that is remaining for that video. So first of all, size comparison. Compared to the normal Rubik's Cube 3x3x3, it's a little tiny bit taller. As you can see, of course, on all the sides, it's all the same thing because it's a cube. So, a little bit taller than the 3x3 from Rubik's. And um, the, the turning quality on that cube, it's uh, pretty good. Um, let me show you, first of all, how it turns. So, of course, you just take a face and you turn it like you would do on a normal 3x3. Uh, so it got, it's gonna go like that. We have gears all over, all around the cube, which are gonna turn at the same time that I start turning my face, just like that. The side here is turning, but also the middle layer is turning as well, not as fast as my side here. And these edge pieces are rotating around at the same time as I turn the side here. That's pretty amazing. So turning quality. Really good, it's not stiff at all, like I mean it turns really really well. It does need a little bit of lube once you buy it and you open out the box. It's gonna need to be lubed up a little bit to get that turning quality, but otherwise it still turns well. And the popping pieces on that cube, actually I never had a piece pop out from this cube, but what I do have sometimes is these edge pieces. They like turn. If I, as you can see, it's a little bit loose, just like that. If I open it like this, I can turn this side here as I want, which is not a good thing. Still, it's still a good puzzle, but sometimes you will do some moves and then you'll have a piece turning and then you have a hard time to figure out what you have to do because this piece has n is not supposed to be turning. And it's not supposed to be like this, it's actually supposed to be like this. And you're like going all around the cube and all that, trying to figure out what you have to do to solve it. But you actually can't do it because something messed up and this piece turned and all that. But besides that, it's really sturdy. I mean, never had a piece pop out. It's loose. You can't really tight it more with screws and that. Unless I'd never figured it out. Figured it out. But yeah, it's a pretty cool puzzle. And let me show you something amazing. What you would think is, on this cube, if you take a face and you do 360 degrees, it comes back where it's supposed to be. If you take this gear cube and you do 180 degree, 360, it's not at the good place. I'm gonna do one more turn. A whole turn. There you go. Now I've done. It's actually not turning really good now. <laughs> it's weird. But yeah. Now I did two turns. And as you can see it's not. It's still not solved. I need to do a couple more turns. Here we are. Now we are at three turns. And as you can see it's like half. This middle layer here. Has like done a 180 degree. And the piece edge pieces are all on the right angles. And now if I keep turning it. Now I've done four turns, now I did six turns, and I think, actually five turns, five turns, and I think once you've done six turns, it comes back where it's supposed to be. So, one 360 is not enough, you have to do it six times, which is a lot, and this is why this puzzle gets complicated, but it's still... It's always easy. What I mean by that is you can mix it up as much as you want. You always have to do 180 degrees on each face if you want to keep mixing it up more. What I mean by that is if you do just 90 degrees, the middle layer here is not lined up properly and you can't keep on mixing it. So you have to do always 180 degrees to always have to keep on mixing it. And once it's mixed up, I won't do a tutorial right now, but it's really, really easy to solve. Just think about it. If you always do 180 degree on the, the Rubik's normal 3x3, 
yes, at some point it does get mixed up, but it's always like you always have a way to come back where it's supposed to be and all that. As you can see now, I mixed it up and now I'm not coming back like backwards. It's just I'm using algorithms that I know to bring it back to the solve state. So basically, it's the same thing as the gear cube. It's always easy to solve. And again, I won't show you how to solve it unless you ask for it, but it's still always easy to solve and you will see why if you do try it at some point. Um, if I recommend it, yeah, sure. Keep in mind, it's easier than this one. If you're looking for a good challenge, this is not the cube for you. Even though it's really fun, really interesting, and it's like a first... By a first, I mean it's something you've never seen before. It's a gear cube. All the faces are moving together. That's something pretty cool. So always keep in mind, if you do buy it, you won't have a hard time to solve it. It's pretty easy to do. So keep that in mind. And as you can see, it's almost solved now. I did just a couple turns, and now it's almost solved. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Keep in mind, this cube is really easy to solve. Subscribe if you feel like it. You can always like the video, showing me some support. And if you feel like it as well, share this video with your friends. It's going to help me a lot with uh, my videos and all that. So, guys, bye. Have a good day. And thank you for watching.